Good morning, welcome to my weekend in my life vlog. Let's start the weekend at the best possible way. Homemade pear marmalade and uh, butter fried chanterelles together with some great juice and uh, great coffee. I really need to go out now and uh, do some physical activity. So I'm going out for a run now. I got a slight chronic headache going on now and I really hope that I do not cause something more serious when I go out and run. Sometimes that happens for me. It's like when I move my head, my headache sometimes uh, gets worse. But uh, I feel that I really, really need to go out. So I'm going to take a chance. I got some paracetamol. I have also sent a message to a friend of mine because there is a food festival that is going on down in the city center this weekend and I have asked him if he wants to grab some lunch or dinner with me. He hasn't answered yet so I will see if that if it happens by the way. That felt so nice. 5k. I am completely worn out now but it was totally worth it. After I um, had my uh, lunch today I uh, decided to go down to the city center because it was uh, such a nice weather and still is today. It's the first week of September and uh, we have like 25 degrees Celsius here and uh, that's quite amazing because we usually don't have this kind of weather here in Umeå at this time of the year. And uh, I went to a cafe and um, I sat down and uh, worked on a little project that, that I have regarding this vlog. I'm not going to tell you more about that, but um, anyway, when I was at the cafe, I suddenly started to feel uh, very dizzy and I could really feel the, the pressure going up within my head. It was like pumping, not a very nice feeling and uh, for a couple of minutes I felt really bad. This is something that I believe is um, related to my idiopathic intracranial hypertension and if you don't know what that is, please check this video up here. But anyway, when that happened, at that point, I started to think, should I just pack up and uh, go home, lay on my bed and rest? And I was almost about to do that when things got better. It was something that did go on for a couple of minutes. I felt incredibly bad, but just like that, it just went away. I don't know what caused it, but uh, something probably caused my pressure to, to go up. And I know that caffeine can cause uh, the pressure to go up, and I did have caffeine. But here's the deal, I have been drinking coffee three or four times a day for almost, uh, I think it is almost 20 years, and I have never felt this. I have never felt this before. I had my diagnosis nor after I had my diagnosis just after I have been drinking coffee so that's just what I think but anyway after that I um, decided to take a walk in the city center and uh, believe me Umeå is such a nice city it's so so beautiful and I realized that when I was walking in the city with the sunlight and the flowers and everything like that. And by the way, the flowers that you see here are actually planted by kindergarten children. And I think that's an amazing thing to do. When you live in a city, it's like you don't really appreciate how beautiful the city really is. But today I really felt this is such a beautiful place to live in. And I'm so happy that I live here. And also I want to know if you are still watching this and uh, do have IIH or other conditions that can cause uh, this sudden severe dizziness. I 
really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it if you left a comment and uh, explained how you deal with this kind of situations because I feel that sometimes it is quite difficult to, to deal with the dissonance itself. For me, it's I have to like uh, sit down or maybe lie down and rest. But let's say that if you are working like, uh, like I do, I have a job where I am standing quite a lot. And if that happens when I work, it's much more difficult to deal with the dizziness. I just have to sort of uh, accept it. And being an OR nurse with this condition is, um, it's quite difficult sometimes to be honest, but it's manageable. But the most difficult thing to deal with is actually when that dizziness happens when you are doing surgery and you stand up because uh, I cannot leave the surgical field when that happens because it might be it might be in a tricky situation in the surgery. If you haven't watched this uh, channel before, my name is Paul. I have a rare disease and I vlog about my disease. And uh, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment because that really helps me with spreading knowledge about this disease and it helps me spreading my story to others and I know that it is helpful for others because people have reached out to me through um, social media and uh, YouTube and uh, so on and so forth. I am so glad that uh, I didn't meet up with any friends today for dinner because uh, it's rainy and windy outside. It is actually more windy than uh, you see in this photo and this uh, food festival that I have been talking about it's an outdoor food festival and I am think I'm going to head down there tomorrow if uh, it is better weather so in other words this is a perfect evening for Mario Kart on Nintendo Switch this is uh, childhood memories coming back to me at the city center I just picked up these uh, table covers or whatever you call it you by the way this is nursing humor but you put your cup on it and it works as a protector to the table and I mean I think they are beautiful and it's nice material it's the third day of uh, this vlog now and as you can see the weather is much uh, better now so I'm actually going down to that food festival and eat. Unfortunately no friends were able to join me this time but uh, it's the last day of that food festival and uh, I'm going to eat lunch there. This is a very strong headache attack that is going on right now and if you haven't experienced chronic headache like this, it's unbelievable because no matter what you do, nothing is helping out. I mean, it feels like your head is about to blow up from the inside while people are jumping on your head at the same time. So it's an incredibly strong headache. And this is a strong one. But anyway, I have decided to push through with this headache and uh, go down to the city center. I just woke up from a nap and uh, I feel much better now. The headache is completely gone, but uh, I have lost all of my motivation to go to the gym. So I'm going to leave all of my gym things at home and uh, I am still going down to the city center to eat uh, lunch. By the way, I always have some paracetamol with me because I never know when this headache is kicking in. I am on my way home now and uh, it was totally worth it to go down to the city center. It's a beautiful day, beautiful weather. However, the food was a little bit... Um, uh, it didn't taste so special it did lack some flavor but anyway i decided to pass by a patisserie 
on my way home and bought some uh, cookies. I usually never do that because of my underlying condition, but I felt today it was worth it. See you in the next one.